Well, I asked for it, and Santa surely delivered. Today, guys, we're checking out the Bass Driver DI Box V2 by Tech21. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrated. And today we're getting back into the swing of things. So as I said before in my surprise bass unboxing, I really want to step up my bass game. I want to focus a little bit more on bass and not just bang on the lowest string that is available for me. I really want to learn how to play and how to like not just follow exactly what the guitar is doing, you know what I mean? And I wanted to get inspired with a cool, cool DI box. So basically, this thing is a bass amp in a box. It can be used as a DI box, it can be used as a preamp to a bass amp, or it can be used as like a bass emulator directly into your doll. You have a three band EQ, a presence knob, a level knob, a blend knob, and the drive knob. You also have a bass shift, a mid shift, a pad for the XLR output, a boost for the quarter inch output, and a ground lift switch for the XLR cable. So basically what I've been using all the different plugins and such for my bass as of late, can now be used in analog form. So for the song, I'm using my Schecter Stiletto five string bass, running straight into the Sans Amp Bass Driver DI box, straight into my Focusrite A Clara Pre. Now this song, this, this demo song, has been requested heavily, heavily, heavily. I used it originally on my Explore demo in the middle of the summer of 2018, and I brought it back for the song, recorded it, and it will be available for you guys in a future, future Luna Moyer to EP. When we come back, we'll talk about the positives and the negatives of the Sansamp Bass Driver DI V2 and my overall summary of this pretty, pretty versatile and pretty cool DI box. Without further ado guys, here's the song.
All right, guys, so that's the song. My overall summary is, man, it's cool to have a nice piece of hardware, and it's my first time ever having any sort of tangible base equipment. I'm used to plugins and patches and stock lo logic, like tips and tricks, and I really do enjoy having the ability to personally adapt my sound and create my own sound with a piece of, again, hardware. I guess the only negative of this box is it is only good at tone shaping. You know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not an all-inclusive package, which is what I'm used to prior to this thing. For example, the Hellraiser plugin by Joe Sturgis Tones. Phenomenal bass plugin. It has everything, all the ins and outs, has the compressor, has the ability to split your signal to compress the lows and then compress the highs differently or like put a lot of saturation and gain on the highs and then have a nice warm solid low end and then the clank is in the trouble you know what I mean like I'm very used to that and very very spoiled in that sense where like I can have everything in house and I, I don't necessarily you know I'm not as as seasoned and familiar with bass tones so having the plug-in form it was like it was a good way to get my foot in the door you know what I mean but with this now I have the box and have the sound, but now I have to I have to use either an external plug-in or an external compressor or you know external EQ. You know what I mean? Like and then I just need more gear if I decide to use this, which isn't a bad thing. It teaches me how to use things the proper way and and create my own sound rather than just relying on a stock patch or a plug-in. But apart from that, guys, this thing is awesome. It reminds me almost exactly as the dark glass plug-in bass plug-in. Um, it's got the blend with the drive and, and the ability to to shift the lows and the mids and you know cut and boost them and I you know I, I'm very familiar with this layout again in plug-in form now I've stepped up my game so to speak and I know how to use it in the analog world but my overall favorite thing about this plugin is the XLR output now obviously I use this for recording right and and what better way to record than to have a direct output right into your into your interface rather than just solely as a preamp you know right right in front of an actual bass amp now you can just have the ability to just run it straight into your interface and then this is your amp, you know what I mean? So it's an amp in a box, it's awesome. So again guys, that song, the bass tones were used with the Sans Amp Bass Driver DI Box V2. I haven't created a name for it yet, I think an Explore, that's what I'll call it, Explore, because uh, it was originally on the Explore demo. So again, that'll be on a Luna Muerte EP which will be released early, early January, be on the lookout for that. I hope you dug that song, I hope you dug the bass tones. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the Sans Amp Bass Driver DI Box V2. If you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome first of all. Thank you so much for sticking around. And if you could please support me by hitting that subscribe button, it mean a lot. All my social media links are in the description of this video down below. If you'd like to check those out, they're there for you. As always dudes, stay metal, and I'll see you guys next time.